So just a quick little intro here about this video, which is different. You can watch me crochet while I talk about um, my obsession with beer can hats and what I think art is. So um, also the reason why I had to make this hat is because I'm making a new pattern for the down and dirty version of my three part series. So I did a big three part beer can hat um, series, right? It was super nerdy and, and had a lot of extra cool stuff. And then I realized I probably should have just made uh, one <laughs> little one. <laughs> and so I chopped them all up just as they are and made a video out of that of my all my videos that one's really taken off for some reason. But the picture on the thumb from part three where I put the brim on is different because on part three I show a different way to put them together. This, this is what it would look like if you did part one, part two, and then put a brim on it. Um, and so I, I realized I didn't have a sample of what that would look like. So I made this sample to go with the pattern I'm going to make for the down and dirty. That will be available pretty soon without the, all the bells and whistles, just a down and dirty, simple version. Okay. So this one I made, but I actually, it looks way less nerdy than I thought it was going to look because I used regular size cans. And in the other one, I use like shorter cans labels, but like, it's hard to find artwork that you can cut down that small and it still looks cool. You know, if you like the artwork and it takes up the whole can, then use the whole can. And now on with the show. <laughs> So you may have noticed that I take beer can hats a little more seriously than probably uh, anyone. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about why that is, what beer can hats stand for artistically, I guess, and why I decided to start my channel with them. And I've got uh, four reasons, so let's just make it a list. I mean, number one is pretty obvious, I think. Beer and crochet, hello. Obviously, it's two awesome things that go great together. I don't know what could be better, actually. Um, also, it's just the best kind of mixed media as an art chick. I love textiles and metals, and you're upcycling and drinking, so it has so much to offer, right? Not to mention being a crochet party hero, as I tend to mention from time to time. You can live crochet with beer at gatherings and be fucking cool. Uh, showing off how awesome crochet can be, you know? Everyone I know who crochets and drinks beer thinks the combination's amazing. So, there you go. Number two, uh, this is kind of a big one. I do not believe in the hierarchy of art and craft. And what I mean by that is, um, I don't believe that some arts are at the top and some crafts are at the bottom and there's some magical list that exists somewhere of what is art and what is craft and what's better than other things in the grand scheme of art. Uh, it's just bullshit, it's all bullshit. Okay, I'm sorry to tell you. Um, okay, you probably don't know this about me. I don't know why you would, but I have a formal fine arts background. In fact, I have an art degree and I've been a crafter and artist since birth, basically. And I ran a craft clothing business for many years where I traveled to craft shows and sold my work and saw a lot of what's out there. So I feel like my opinion is pretty well informed. Um, however, there is no absolute truth about what is art, okay, and what is craft. Um, and what is fine art and what is fine craft. I mean, there's just opinions, okay? There's no mas master guideline for that. Um, and the lines are blurry at best. I, I wrote a whole thing about this uh, on my blog uh, where I go into much more detail about why I think this way and with examples. And I'd like to turn it into a video at some point, but you can go read that. I'll put the link in the description. <music> 
So I believe that all creative work has value and that there is room in the art and craft world for everyone. Uh, believe it or not, some people think that's radical thinking <laughs> and don't agree with me on that. And I know that because I've met them. Um, and they're always fine artists. I'm not saying all fine artists feel that way, but I'm just saying that everyone I've ever met who does feel that way was a fine artist. That's all I'm saying, because they think that they're at the top and everyone else is at the bottom. Okay, I'm just saying. Some people think beer can hats can't be art or even good craft. And I think that's baloney because my criteria for art is creativity plus skill. That's it. And there is a huge range of both throughout the art and craft world, meaning, um, you know, you could find something that takes a lot of skill but doesn't have any creativity, like a landscape painting, for example. A realistic looking landscape painting has a lot of skill maybe involved, but not a lot of creativity necessarily. Um, that's just one example, but if you made it with your own creativity and imagination and your own two hands and set of skills, you can call it whatever you want. To me, that's art. Um, but you've at least earned the right to call it whatever the hell you want to call it. You want to call it art? Go right ahead. You want to call it craft? That's just fine. You know, the only thing is don't let other people tell you what you are and what you make. That's your job to tell them, you know. Uh, I can say more, but uh, see my blog rant and um, that's it for that topic for now. Number three, I'm drawing the right people to my clubhouse. That's right. Knowing how, air quotes, real artists and the general public feel or can feel about <laughs> beer can hats, I am getting your attention, right? And weeding out the riffraff. That's right. Because I honestly don't give a shit what's popular. <laughs> I don't even pay attention. I hate pop culture, so I don't usually even know what's popular. Um, I, I really don't care about what's high on the list of what is artsy fartsy or whatever because that's a bunch of crap. But I know what's awesome, okay? And if you're watching this, you probably do too. And that means I wanna hang out with you, okay? So like put a comment somewhere. I'm super excited that you're watching this and care about my beer can hat stuff. It's awesome. Number four, it's just freaking fun, okay? I mean, isn't it? When I was getting ready to start my channel, I had tons of ideas and options of what kind of projects to start with. 
Um, but I saw a big gap with beer can hats, you know, there's just nothing really good out there. So the more I thought about it, the more fun it sounded, and the more ideas I came up with for hat, hat designs, the more excited I got. And that really gave me the energy to start. Because when it comes down to it, I am here to have fun and do the creative crafts that I enjoy and to share what excites me as an artsy, out of the box weirdo that I am. And that's what I plan to do. Just to be 100% Becky, the Bohemian Mermaid, that's me. Creative and weird as I want to be and sharing my ideas and techniques with you. So thanks for watching, by the way. This is awesome. I am now over 100 subs. Actually, today, I think it's 131. So obviously, I'm feeling pretty big time. Um, <laughs> it's really the slow growth that I wanted. and But it's steady, you know. So I'm just happy that you're here and I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>